Right, hello, and welcome back to Luton's last, oh my god, rise, right, I'm up, I'm in the chair, um, yeah, I'm running out of ideas, just a little bit for intros, that's what that is, um, nothing else to say, it's episode 8, let's get into it. So here we are then at the calendar. We've got pretty much a clear run of fixtures to end the January transfer window out. I've got no money, as I said in the last one, so I won't be signing anyone now. Hopefully I can get Barry Douglas on a free. I'll try that after I'm recording this before episode 7 comes out, so we'll see what you guys say. But today we'll play Forest, we'll play Norwich, we'll sim Barnsley, we will play Brentford and we will play Birmingham. All the games we're playing are teams above us. So if we get any sort of wins, it's fantastic. We also need to beat Barnsley in the sim because they're, they're not very good, quite frankly. But we'll move straight into the Forest teams. It's full strength. It's the first team. Who else? What else would I was going to do, realistically? Forest are in their nice uh, blue away kit. You should subscribe to the channel and let me know if I get a new keeper. Should it be Bryce Samba? Tell me in the comments. Let's get into this game, though. Well, a home game against Nottingham Forest is never easy. We could really, really do with grabbing some points after the last episode in the league. We didn't get any, I don't believe. The win was against Sheffield Wednesday in the FA Cup. So, let's see what we can do today. Balls in with Guerrero up front. Not sure who that is. He's going to play it for Freeman. Why Slew has started to come and then stop. What a block, Tony Bradley. Can we get there? Overall, Norrington Davis gets it away. Fantastic. Forrest are playing it around us as if we're not there. And Sluger makes another save. He's played well so far. Obviously, lads, I'm still running with the short, shorter theme for the episodes. Do let me know what you're thinking about that. Done a couple of them now. Hope they're coming down well. Bradley Bryan goes out to Clark. He's going to whip one over towards the wall. Right at the back post. Oh, what defending that is. Shinny cuts the ball out. Can he lift it for Cornick? He can. Is Cornick onside? I'm not sure, but he has finished the ball anyway. It was a lovely assist, but he is offside. Shinny on the ball then, who in real life has left the club recently. I'm actually recording this the day after the transfer window. So let me know, should I uh, match that? Oh, so close. By selling him on at the end of the season, I think I should. And there's the half-time whistle, I didn't even notice. Kind of an action-packed first half, I'm not really sure. More for you to let me know in the comments down below than anything really, chances going forward. But we'll improve it in the second half and we'll get better. That's a good ball in behind for Freeman. Is he going to take on Carter Vickers? He's not. He's going to go back to So and Carter Vickers is going to get there. He's too good, Carter Vickers. I love it. Cornick, can he play in Shinny? That's not really playing him in, but he's managed to find him at the very least. Cornick now taking it outside. Has he still got it? He has. Here comes Brian. And for a first time finish to make it 1 0, Bradley Bryan gets the goal. Come on. He looks like he's a fantastic youth player coming through. I love it. Jordan Clark on the wing. Absolutely breezes past Bong. We must be in his 40s at this stage. Can we get a ball towards anyone? Luala was no. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, Forrester coming forward here now. Norrington Davis has lost his man. Oh, I can't pronounce his name. Norrington Davis is just standing him. Come on. We've not got there. It's fallen to Freeman. Bradley. Oh, he's turned him so well. There's, he's just in. He's just in. And it's 1-1. As soon as I thought he was going to have that shot and I dived in, it was over. I couldn't get anywhere near him and Luke Freeman levels it up for Forrest. Freeman's turn me once again, it's gone into Guerrero. He's going to go back to him, that's a great pass. Is Bree going to get there? He's not. What a finish into the roof of the net. Who scored that? So, is it so? It's so. Damn. Come on. I'm having the same luck I had in the last episode at the moment. And uh, now Bradley's up against Freeman again. He strikes it. Good save, Sluga. This is the last chance. This is it. Shinny's going long already for Cornick in the final minute. Literally, it's a great pass. Can he finish it on his left? Yes, Harry Cornick can. I have to trust it, Harry Cornick. What a finish that is. Didn't think he was going to manage on his weaker foot. But he's done it and we're going to grab ourselves a point. I'll tell you what, I'm going to miss Andrew Shinny. He can play a through ball. There's the full-time whistle. I'll take a draw, but we really should have won that game. They weren't that good. But Luke Freeman in behind their strikers. Fantastic. Maybe he's someone I look at to replace Shinny. So as I was saying, Luton have made a couple of signings, and that is Ian and Drewsby Hall in the middle, and then Sam Dombe. I'm not sure you can correct me in the comments. Um, I'll probably try and sign them at the end of the window because I haven't got any money. So at the start of the next season, which is when I will let Shinny go as well. I'll let him go then because I think that's fair. And I'm probably going to try and sign Douglas soon on a pre-contract. But there is also something else. We have had a change of plans, unfortunately. Everything happens like that. We have got Norwich now on Wednesday and we've got Sheffield United in the cup coming up so we'll continue with what we were going to do we'll play Norwich we will play Sheffield United Sim Barnsley and then the last game will be Brentford another crucial game all big games 
let's get in to the Norwich teams. Right, this is probably not going to end well, but I have changed formation purely because we've got Sheffield United in the cup and I need to win that game, basically, because of board objectives, I need it. So I've changed formation. I don't know how it's going to go. Two up top and diamond in the middle. The two lads there were minus four. I've got no, no sharpness whatsoever. This could be a horror show. Now, this is something I love. So it's snowing. That has just randomly generated that. It is January, to be fair. They've changed the lines to orange. They do that default. It so happens to suit for Luton, of course. But I love that that's new. Granted, the ball's white, which doesn't help as much. It should be a different colour, probably yellow or something. But it's a step in the right direction. Orange lines, you love to see it. This formation is honestly completely new to me. I've got absolutely no idea how it's going to go with this team, with me. I've never played this before at any FIFA. This could be brilliant or absolutely horrible. And it's started really horrible. Here's Timo Puki, and he puts it in the goal. Nine minutes in. To be fair, I think that would have happened no matter what formation I was playing there. But still, not a great start. Norwich giving away a sloppy corner here. And we've got a few tall people in this lineup, including Danny Hilton. What a catch that is from Crawl. Hilton now over the top for Collins. Now he's not got much pace, but he has got strength. That's good. Holds off Gibson. On the outside of the post away. I was expecting the net to bulge there. Hilton now plays Craney. He's doing a lot of running today for someone who's probably not got the stamina. In for Collins, finish. What a defending is that? He's taken me down. I don't know. That's a ball for Pookie there. Can we get on it? Well done, Pearson. He's won the ball there, ref. Fantastic defending from Pearson. We'll clear it. And that should then get us to half time. It does. We've pushed. We are behind, but we have been absolutely knocking on that door. It's only a matter of time before we get a goal, I'm sure. We just need to keep them out. Into Tunnicliffe. One more. One more. That's it. James Collins is in. It's not even long into the second half. Come on, Collins. Come on, this time. This time. Off the post again, man. Craney's dived in, not made it against Tribal, I swear. I'm, how am I going to hit the post two times and they're not going to hit it once? Are oh, you kidding me? It's 2-0. Tribal gets Norwich's goal. We've only got ourselves to blame. There we go. We're once again in behind with Collins. Get away from Gibson. And I swear, if you don't score this one, there we go, James. There we go. Took you three tries, but you've got there. Pick up the ball. Let's get back. Let's score again. Tribal plays in Puki. First time. Sluger, shave, and at your near post. That should not be happening. Yes, we've scored, but we haven't been able to keep them out. Timo Puki with Norwich's third. That's a great ball in behind for Buendia. Why is Galloway not tracked him at all? We'll get there. How have we not got there with Lockyer? What is that? He's just not even tried. I can't believe it. Puki with a fourth for Norwich. Very then into Hilton, into Collins, back towards Hilton. That's good football, to be fair. Hilton's straight at the keeper, though. And there's the full-time whistle. We've been absolutely battered. The second team in a new formation. It just didn't suit us, to be fair. Timo Bugi got himself a hat-trick. I can't believe it. We'll move on to the FA Cup full-strength team, and hopefully we do a little bit better. Right, for this big FA Cup game, and I mean big, this is an important one. We could do with winning it. it there's going to be a little bit of a kick clash, I think. There's Sheffield United's third kit's not in it. If it was, brilliant, but not much I can do about it. A five at the back, a good team. I've gone full strength. Let's see what we can do. A lovely FA Cup tie then. You always take an FA Cup tie. I do enjoy the FA Cup. Sheffield United, uh, the kits aren't too bad. It's not too bad, I'll say. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a win and cause a bit of an upset. Jordan Clark's got room. We're going down the wing. Can he get a ball over? It's not a good cross. Can Brian knock it down for Harry Cornick to take a touch and a strike? Oh, that's a good block. Oli McBurney always gone past Bradley very well and he's always going to finish that. That's meat and drink for a Premier League striker. Oli McBurney gets Sheffield United's first. Probably not their last. Hopefully we can just grab one ourselves. Brian carrying the ball. Can he find a ball for Cornick? He's managed to get there despite getting a deflection. Just a couple of touches and a strike for Harry Cornick. And he's got himself a goal against the Premier League opposition. He's ready for the Premier League, but I don't think we are. <laughs> Mechan Antonio on his way through. Sonny Bradley's not got there. I'm not even sure who I'm coming across with. And Pans, who's the one back with... The oh, man, Bernie scores again. It's 2-1. Literally, since their first goal, there's been three attacks. Or two attacks. Two goals for them, one for me. And he's got room. First time for Cornick. He's going to beat Rodwell to the ball, of course. Can Cornick finish? Yes, he can. Never doubt my man, Harry Cornick. 2-2, 40 minutes in. What an exciting FA Cup tie this is. Ah, oh, Brian's won it back. In for Cornick. Oh, he's going to win that race, is he? No, he's not. Oh, the ref's going to blow the whistle any second now for half-time. There it is. The upset's still on, lads. We're level. Let's get into the second half quick. McBurney's on the ball again. Carl Vickers comes through him. You love it. Norton Davis to find the wire out wide. That's a lovely pass. Lovely pass. Harry Cornick's at the back post. Find him. Oh, great keeping. 
Sander Bergen to Mikel Antonio. Carter Vickers wins the ball, ref. Referee, no way. Oh, no. I can't. I can't believe I'm going to be done like this. Please show me. Yes, thank you. A replay. Look at this. Foot on the ball. Foot on the ball, 100%. Carter Vickers has been done over by the referee there. Mikel Antonio steps up and puts it in a corner easily for Sheffield United's third. I am livid. Ginny, come on, Cornet, come on, come on. I've just not been able to find the pass to stick at the moment. Not enough time left, I'm sure. There's the whistle. I'm gutted. I won that ball. I won that ball for the penalty. I am absolutely gutted the ref's given that. I can't believe it. We've gone out of the FA Cup for that. Fuming, man. Fuming. Right, Barnsley Sim, then, if you remember, this was the very first game in the very first episode that we played and we lost 3 1. So. Hopefully, the sim goes a little bit better than that because I would rather, I could really do, should I say, with a win. I oh, one back by Brian. Surely, if he can make a pass or a shot into Shinny. Cornick, oh, good save. Brian, oh, good block, and it's away. Oh, Brian through to Cornick. Surely, he finishes that, and he does. Off the post. I heard the dink. I don't know if you did, but it's 1 0 loot, and that's what we need. Well, I've got a ball out wide, plays it for Brian. Surely, he'll pass to Cornick. He will, and that's two. Harry Cornick bagging a brace. Assist by Bradley Bryan. You'll have to see it. And Pandu through for the Wallawa, and he gets a third. It's 3 0 after half an hour the game's done we're going to beat Barnsley and fans who finds Zawala who finds Cornick who makes it four on the 45th minute that's probably going to end the half I don't know what's going on but we're absolutely smashing Barnsley you love to see it there's the whistle overall fantastic let's get some more oh Barnsley are in behind now no never mind James Bree stops that one that's a good ball Barnsley are in here and they get themselves one back Paulie Woodrow gets their goal 4-1 now Barnsley have had all the ball and they've got themselves a second. I've made a couple of subs. Barry and Knight are on. I don't know. Two goal lead surely with 10 minutes left is enough. Woodrow. It's a good ball. And it's 4-3. We've absolutely gone to pieces in this half. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold on. Calling with a good ball to Barry. He plays it for Knight who puts it just wide. Then we've just lost the ball forward. But surely that's enough to give us a whistle. Ref, where's your whistle? We've passed two minutes surely. Win the ball, lads. Get it clear. There's the whistle. Right, we made it a bit nervy, but my God, luckily we've got three points and we haven't had in the league in a long time. Let's take that form into Brentford, the first half anyway, and get a result there. The only change I've made then for the Brentford game, a big game, we could again do with winning. They're, they're above us in the table, of course, and a lot of people are now. We've dropped considerably. I've put Knight in for Luwalua. Let's go. Here we go then, Griffin Park, and in real life Brentford have recently got a new stadium. I don't know if it's called Griffin Park anymore, but we'll see. Away from home, not an easy game at all, Brentford. Not at all. Harry Cornick's won the ball back. Can he go for Shinny? He can. Can he get back to Harry Cornick? He can. Harry Cornick, can you finish? He can! Four minutes in and we go 1-0 into the lead. Of course, if we go 1-0 up, we're going to the lead. Anyway, we're winning. And it was brilliant pressing from the lads. Ball into Tony. He always played it through for Ben Rama, who has recently just got a loan move to West Ham. And he's 1-1 after 14 minutes. Ivan Tony through the middle. Is Norrington Davis going to get there? Enough to get anyone back. Norrington Davis gets on it and Panzu clears it. Oh, that's a good ball for Tony. Carter Vickers hasn't got there. And Sluga has been beaten at the near post again. That is the most frustrating thing. Keepers are just not good enough. From there, with that power, that ball shouldn't go past the keeper. Ryan finds Cornick, who finds Shinny. Can he turn around just enough to get a shot off? Not quite. Pontus Janssen does very well. That's a great ball for Tony. Sluga's kind of not got there, to be fair. Now, that is a penalty, to be fair. Sluga's not got there. He's missed the ball and taken the striker. The only thing is, he wasn't booked for it, which I think he probably should have been. Can he save it? No, he can't. Another goal from the penalty spot. Brentford are 3-1 up. We're only half an hour in. What's going on? Harry Cornick for Clark in behind. Is he going to beat his fullback? He's offside. As added time approaches then, and Bueno's got a ball in, and Bradley stepped in brilliantly there, to be fair. Oh, not a great pass, but we'll move out, and there's the whistle. 3-1. A bit questionable. Sluga's made some poor decisions today. He's not been great. I maybe need to look for a keeper going into next season, but I'm not really sure what I can do today. Jason Knight lays it to Mpanzu, who lays it to Cornick, who's got space just enough for a shot. That's a good save. Cornick looking for Shinny. One touch. Oh, what a terrible touch it was. A better touch there and he scores. They're flooding players forward. Brentford Carter Vickers hasn't got there, but he's given away a penalty after the fact. How am I going to give away two penalties? Three overall this episode. I can't believe it. Benarama's just gone off, so Jensen will take and he'll go the other way. And it's in and it's 4-1 and I am depressed. Chinny plays it forward for Cornick. He's gone past the two players, but there's no one in the box for him. He'll make a corner out of it. We'll try again. Up for Cornick, who's won it. And he's saved it. Of course he has. 
Are you kidding me? Ginny down to Clark. Can he find Cornick? Yes, he can. One touch and a finish. Surely there it is. Seven minutes left to get two goals. Come on, boys. How is Carter Vickers not got that one with the tackle, lads? What's going on? It's five because there was no way Sluger was going to save that. So it's 5-2. I tried to make the tackle with Carter Vickers. Probably shouldn't have, but still. I've just tried to lift it. Oh, Cornick's going to reach it. Oh, what a save from the keeper. Sluger wouldn't do that. Oh, referee, I'm on the edge of the box, mate. I know I'm three goals down, but still, you can't be blowing a whistle there when you wouldn't blow it in the middle of the pitch if it was going the other way, would you? Oh, I'm not happy today. I'm not happy. The last three episodes-ish, we just haven't been good enough. Maybe two? I'm not sure. I think it's two. Just the two. Seven and eight haven't been good. Anyway, we'll move, we'll move. And yeah, everyone's favourite little bit player of the episode has turned out to be a tough one today. And I'm not really sure who to give it to, unfortunately. But the only person I can really give it to is Harry Cornick. He just scores a bag load of goals. Stats-wise, I think he's got 25 goals so far this season. 25 in the league. That's absolutely mental how many he's scored. No one else deserves it. He's got it. Scores loads of goals. League position-wise, we're sitting pretty intent. I mean, it's fine. I'm happy with that position. But realistically, we've got to be going up. We've got to be going and looking up. But 45, 53 now. It's eight points. Playoffs look like they're out of our hands now. Definitely. It's just not been good enough. But that wraps up today. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it if you do. Please do leave a like if you're enjoying it. Let me know with intros. Let me know about the signings. That should I keep it real like they have done in real life. Please do subscribe to the channel. That would really mean a lot to me. We're trying to go towards 350 now before the end of the year. And I will see you all in the next one.